So today is day number six, is it? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> time goes so fast. So anyway, today we will be taking boat ride. No. Oh, you like that, eh? Boat ride. Uh, we don't know exactly what time the boats are coming, but we hopefully, you know, maybe a little before six. If there's no fog, if there's fog, then we would be delayed, but it doesn't seem to be any fog this morning. It seems quite clear. 
So we'll take a boat ride, quite a long boat ride. <laughs> short, or just cross. Oh, really? Oh, just a short boat ride. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go to Nir Nirdoya Ghat. Nirdoya Ghat, we'll hear about how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu swam across the Ganga to go to Katwa to take sannyas. Nirdoya Ghat. And then we'll also go to Shankarpur. You hear about Shankaracharya coming to Navadweep. And we're going to go to uh, Rudra Dweep. Huh? Rudra Dweep. In Rudra Dweep, there's one Gaudiamat temple there where Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati chanted. <coughs> Just touch. Not going. We'll have darshan. We'll have kata there. Where's breakfast? <coughs> oh, bre oh, we have land near Doiga. Huh? Okay, so breakfast will be at near Doiga. And then we're going to go to Bail Pakur. Oh. You like bail juice, right? <laughs> so lots of bail fruit there in Bail Pakur. And you'll see the beautiful deity of Madame Gopal, which was worshipped by Nilambar Chakravarti, the, grand, the father of Sachimata. It's been worshipped for hundreds of years. And we'll have darshan there. And the camp is there, right? Yeah, we'll be staying there for the night. But it, it's quite a long walk. Huh. Nothing compared to Brajamando. <laughs> Seven kilometers. So, anyway, those of you who don't like to walk, you can take a rickshaw. <laughs> but seven kilometers. Oh. <coughs> That's from Rudra Dweep up to Bilpakur. And we'll have the evening program there. Oh. <laughs> so Prabhu tells me this is Koladweep, not far away from the town, Navadweep town is down there. Usually we would come up here after Navadweep, we'd come from Navadweep town, we would walk up here to this camp. but they, a couple of years ago they changed the route and we started coming in a different different way. Anyway, we're staying here. We're staying here. This is Kola Dweep and we're going to cross over to what dweep is it? Rudra Dweep. And then from Rudra Dweep we're going to go to Samantha Dweep. Right? Samantha Dweep, which is the first island we were meant to cover, which is the hearing process. But Bill Pakur is in. Hmm? Rudradri. Border, yeah. Bill Pakur is somewhere. Rudradri and Samantha Dweep. And tomorrow we'll be in Samantha Dweep, right? So today we're going to see. We're here in Kola Dweep. We're going to go to Rudradri and border of Simanta Dweep. So, I think we have a big Sankirtan party here. <laughs> so many book distributors, huh? So many. Okay. Vrindai Talasi Devai Priyai Kesavashyata Vishnu Bhakti Pradidhevi Satya Vajya Namo Nama Vinaya Tulsi Nagyayatriya Vishnu Bhakti Pradidhevi Satya Vajya Namo Nama Vrindai Tulsi Devai Priyai Kesavashya Cha Vishnu Bhakti Pradidhevi Satya Vajya Namo Nama
Vrandai Talasi Devai Priyai Kesavashya Cha Vishnu Bhakti Prade Devi Satya Vatya Namo Nama Tulsi Maharani Ki Jai Namo Namo Tulasi Krishna Preyasi Namo Namo Tulasi Krishna Preyasi Namo Namo Radha Krishna Seva Pabo Eya Bilasi Tomara Sharana Loy Saravancha Purna Hare 
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Tulasi Devai Priyai Kesavashacha Vishnu Bhakti Pradevi Satya Vadyana Monama Vrindai Tulasi Devai Priyai Kesavashacha Vishnu Bhakti Pradevi Satya Vadyana Monama Vrindai Tulasi Devai Priyai Kesavashyacha Vishnu Bhakti Pradevi Satya Vachana Monama Tausi Maharani Ki Namam Vishnu Pradai Vaishnava Pranam Vanchakau pataru vyascha kripa sindu bhayevacha patita nam pavane bhyo vaishnavi bhyo namo nama ananta koti vaishnavrindiki
You may wonder also, why is the Torah Rani there? Well, usually, you see, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna was worshipped alone. It was customary that wherever the deity of Krishna was, he was alone. Just like if you go to Rimuna, in Rimuna you can see the deity of Gopinath there. The deity of in Rimuna, the Gopinath, is that it was originally in Chitrakot, and it was carved by Lord Ramachandra himself. Later on, it was brought from Chitrakot, it was brought, brought over to Rimuna and installed there. Madhavendra Puri, he went there to see the deity, and at that, that point the deity stole the sweet grass for him. So that at Ramana they have three Krishna deities. The one deity was bought from Chitrakot, then later on, one of the disciples of Shamananda, Shamananda Pandit, he became like the the guru overseeing the affairs of the temple and this disciple Rasikananda he brought two more Krishna deities. So in Rimona they have three Krishna deities. They have Madan Mohan, they have Govinda and they have Gopina. So they have Sambanda, Abhidaya, Raiposa. Here you have Madan Gopa. So Madan Gopa was being worshipped on his own. Uh, it was only from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's time that it became more popular to install deities of Srimati Radharani. And it was actually Chanakamata who would actually do that. Wherever there was a Krishna deity, she liked to add a deity of Srimati Radharani beside Lord Krishna. But before time to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it was customary just simply to worship Lord Krishna. So here you see also the number Chakravati, the family deity, only Madan Gopal. There's no Srimati Madhurama. So we do try to help these temples. Prabhupada wanted before he left the world in Prabhupada's will. He wrote in his will that he wanted a charity trust and we should try to help the temples in this book, in this Koramandala Bhumi, help them to maintain the deity worship. And a lot of work has been done. If you travel around, if you go even outside of Navadweek Dam, you can see some of the temples which have been renovated by the help of the Bhaktivedanta Swami Charity Trust. Just, just like that there's a place of Srinivas Acharya, which is up at, uh, in a place near Katwa. What's the name of that place near Katwa? Jadigram. Jadigram. So Srinivas Acharya, who wrote the Goswami Asikam, this place is there. And the Bhaktivinanda Swami Charity Trust they donated the funds to renovate the temple there. And then Raghunandan Thakur, this place where his deities are worshipped. We also go there in Sri Ramya. Not all of the temples need our help. Some of them are doing quite well in their home. They, they, they do quite well. But sometimes we, we do have to help. But this is one temple which has helped a lot, which we've helped a lot. And every year we come here on Parashrama. This place built for Kuwar. This was, you know, in the times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everyone here in this village were Brahmins. It was all Brahmins. And uh, they had big houses, opulent houses. Over the years, with the turn of the century, the different centuries going by, more and more, the Brahmanas would all move to the city. When you go to the city, you go to Calcutta and different big Delhi or Mumbai, you meet people, you meet some Bengali people, they get good Brahman. We have our house and built before, 
Or we have our house in you know, one of these different places like around now between. They have a house, but they hardly ever come here. Maybe they give it out or they rent it out or they just leave it empty. So you will see a lot of big houses here. <laughs> Sometimes nobody's there. Where are they? Oh, they're in Delhi. They're in Mumbai. They don't care to come to the village. So that's how things have changed. People went to the city and the villages have left in decline. But this is no ordinary village. This is built for core. This is the place of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. And as you saw when we came in, we're not very far away from my it's only nine kilometers. We walked seven kilometers just now coming here. The it's only nine kilometers back from my Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was come here with the devotees in the country of Saint so now you can go to the dance and the start and we'll have a program where the program this evening will be there in the park. We'll have a program. Who's here in my gym tonight? Not go for the gym. Tonight, Gopal, who gave a wonderful talk, talk this morning, is coming again this evening at 5 o'clock. We'll go back. And then we'll have question and answer after our team. So we hope you can all come. Take part. Take a shot. So then, Gopal, okay. Jai. 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 Right? Hare Krishna, everyone make yourself comfortable, We're going to be here for some time, we'll have breakfast here, and we have a number of speakers before breakfast. So now we, we came, we took the the boat across the, the Ganga this morning, we came from Koladweep over into Rudradweep. So we're going to hear about the glories of Rudradweep from His Holiness Nishringa Swami Maharaj. Thank you Maharaj. Now we want to hear about the Leela which took place in this place. So we're going to invite His Grace Naragopal Prabhu to give us a nice uh, summary of the pastime which took place here. Very important in Gaudiya Vaishnava life. Thank you very much Naragopal Prabhu. Uh, I'll introduce you a little bit about Naragopal. He leads the Parikrama here in Mayapur during Kartik. So any of you like to come on Parikrama in Kartik, you can join Naragopal Prabhu in the Parikrama at that time. He's also educated, he's a Mayapur Gurukula graduate. His education has always been here in Mayapur. He served as the CEO of Mayapur. Then he has a wonderful kirtan, he's also a famous kirtanier, he has his own bhajan group, very well known. And presently he's managing a number of temples under the direction of His Holiness Jaipataka Swami Maharaj. So we're very grateful to him to give us his valuable association here this morning. Now we have with us also a couple of very distinguished visitors to our parikrama. We have here Brajavalas Prabhu, who's heading up the TOVP, and also His Grace Mahamantra Prabhu from Iskon Delhi. So we're going to hear from them now. Very, very important in Nirdaya God and in this place to take a pledge 
very important. It's very important. Please help me in the forms. Tali Pata Bajaji. Give me a loud clap. Yes, Prabhu. For a form, please give the form. People are ready to show mercy. Let's distribute the art of the bread. It's very important. Let the mercy flow today. Let the mercy flow. Thank you so very much, Prabhu. Very nice. Yes. Form, form. Please send the forms. Just ka pass form nahi hai. Form. Mercy is flowing. No one, Prabhu. Give me the form. We have Naveen Kanti Das Prabhu, right? He is doing a bronze medallion for 1.5 lakhs. Please come. Please give a big hand. Stop. All the medals should go. Today we should do more than 1.5 crores. Mohan Prabhu Prabhu, am I right or am I right? He is saying, I am 100% right. Aye, mother, jaye. Ab jaram kya? Indulaka. Yeah. Mahamandra Prabhu Denge.